And everything is being exposed right now in a mighty way. In a mighty way. He said, give to Caesar what's due to Caesar, but, the, you know, but give to God what's God. I want you to understand that there are certain things that we were granted a constitution, weren't we? And a bill of rights. And there's going to be some things I'm going to share with you tonight. Um, and I'm not trying to tell you not to pay taxes because we should pay taxes. Amen. <laughs> so I want to I want to clarify that first of all. <laughs> but I want to tell you something very important. Um. And in, in, in the packages that we're going to be having next week, there's going to be videos and everything of it. That there was a, uh, a reserve act that was approved in the 1930s, I believe. And during that, it was going to give the Federal Reserve, the, it was a Federal Reserve Bank um, authority where they would borrow money and so forth, and there would be the Department of Treasury would associate with it and whatever. But reality is the Federal Reserve Bank, anybody ever heard of the Federal Reserve Bank? The reality of it is not a government um, connection. In fact, those who are associated with the Federal Reserve Bank have nothing to do with government, and they won't disclose them. Now, I'm going to share something with you that's quite crazy, but it's true. So what happens is our government goes to the Federal Reserve Bank to get money and borrow it. Are you listening? Because it's global money. It's all global money. It's operated by about 125 of the, wor of the worst. The uh, uh, billion, billion, billionaires that people don't even know how much money they have. In fact, they've now found out that trillions of dollars are missing from this country. When you and I were brought into this country and brought into this world and so forth, and in this country, we know that you at one time to be able to work and so forth, you had to get a Social Security number, didn't you? Well, that Social Security number was so that you would become a slave to money. There was this woman, and you'll, you'll hear about the testimony, this sweet woman who got called to jury duty. Now, I want you to know something, that a juror has more authority to, than the judge, but they won't let you know that. A juror has more authority than a judge. The judge is there to regulate, to make sure that the law is in place, but it's the jurors who say what they need to say or choose what's what. And they can even, they can even at that time, I don't want to say change the law, but put in, exi in existence an option so that things can be changed or something different. And this woman that was called to come as a jury duty came to the courtroom and so forth, and, and she got selected, and she was on a trial where this individual had been four charges of uh, tax evasion, income tax evasion. So she figured, well, yeah, no problem. Well, you know, I mean, if you avoid paying taxes, you should go to jail. Well, during the trial, his attorney brought up that there is no law that states that we have to pay income tax. And they were all like, no way. So um, this guy's attorney said, we want the law that says you must pay income tax. We want to show us where it's written. And the judge and the prosecuting attorney said, okay, we'll get it. Well, it never came. And so they went in and they presented everything. And the judge said, okay, it's time to go deliberate. And the jurors sent a note out to the judge saying, Your Honor, we still haven't received this information, which is very important to us about seeing this law. So the judge sent in a law that said that your pay uh, ink, uh, taxes and income taxes, but according to the state. But in that form, it says something that all federal law supersedes all state law in this area. In other words, there is no law that 
you are to pay income tax. It's called capital gain. Capital gain is an area where it's corporate. It's, in other words, we pay state taxes and sales tax and so forth and whatever. But if I was to hire you or anyone in this room to say, cut my lawn, do this for me, do that for me, and give you money, that is not called gain. That is income. And income is not to be taxed. Are you listening? So they sent it in, and the judge said this will be sufficient. Well, here there, there's jurors in there, and they're deliberating, they're talking about this, and they're realizing, man, we've been paying taxes our whole life. <laughs> you know? And, and wh what is this? So they, they all agreed that there was no law stating that this man did not break the law. So they went out and they declared in front of the, the people there and the man, not guilty. The judge got all upset, got up and walked out. Now, I'm not telling you not to pay your taxes because you're going to have to fight with the government and people are still going to jail. Anyways, this attorney got 25 people released from jail. But there are people doing 30 years in jail. My people are destroyed for what? Lack of knowledge. Let me share with you that you have a social security number. All of your income tax money doesn't go to the country. It goes to the Federal Reserve Bank. None of it goes to the country. Are you listening? Did anybody ever see Matrix? Why, did, why were they birthing those children to do what? Get energy off of them. Think about it. And that's still going on, but it's being exposed. It is being exposed all over. Because the Federal Reserve Bank has nothing to do with our federal government. It is a group of individuals that have no idea that they're being used by Satan's kingdom to bring slavery. Is everybody okay? Why? Because how does they control people? By what? Money. Money. And there's a lot more involved, but I don't have all the time to go through it. All right? <laughs> is everybody okay? Now, I'm telling you, I'm not telling you to go out and not pay taxes, all right? Believe me, I've, I've known about some of this a while before and so forth, and I've had people say, man, you don't need a 501c3, this, that, whatever. You can just go do whatever you want. That brings you into bondage and so forth. And, and you know why the IRS is there, right? It's a collection agency for the Federal Reserve Bank. So you're talking about people who have been in deception for many years. And use just to collect. Your income tax money does not go to the country. It goes to the Federal Reserve. That's why they can print all the money they want. Are you listening? And it's bringing bondage. Because their whole purpose is to bring down everything and have one global financial institution. One global government. And one global Religion and who would want to rule the world and control everything. Now, I want you to understand this. Now, this is what you must get. Jesus says that the, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Okay? We talked about it on a personal basis. He comes to steal your foundation, kill your authority, and destroy your future. On a global level, he comes to steal the truth, kill you, and destroy the earth. Why would he want to destroy the earth? Because God sentenced him here. He believes that if he can destroy the earth, him and his kingdom can be released to the universe. So he has to have everything in control. Everything is about destroying the earth and destroying every inhabitant. He really believes that if he can destroy all of the earth and every inhabitant, that he will be released from prison that he's been sentenced to and go into the universe. Does everybody understand that? And this is a global effect. And he's using money to manipulate individuals. And these big wealthy individuals that are making decisions and so forth and whatever that people don't even know. You don't know who they are because they won't reveal their names. But there are organizations and so forth. Satan's greatest weapon is deception. 
and his power is 